I'm going to ask all of you to stand um, to, for the City of Greenfield's First Responders Honor Guard and then remain standing. We will now have the Pledge of Allegiance. A pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Detail. Order. Us. Detail. Recover. Parade. Rest. Detail. I ask you to remain standing as I ask Father Pierce to come forward for the invocation. Dear friends, Dear neighbors, dear brothers and sisters in our good city, we come from green fields, from rushing rivers and fertile valleys. We come from poets' paths and city streets and students' chairs. We come from various places and positions, yet we come together here and now. With hopes and dreams, individual and unique, we seek community and comfort, collaboration and company. We are not alone. A spirit of unity gathers us. A spirit of courage impels us. A spirit of eagerness drives us. And so in that spirit we pray. O oh God, we turn to you with hope and promise at new beginnings. A year begun, a duty shared, a commitment to keep. Thank you for the graces you have given us in good work thus far accomplished. Thank you for the grace you give us for good work yet to be done. Fill us with the spirit of goodness, charity, resolve, and hopefulness. Grant us a share in that spirit eternal. Yet we recognize we are not only inspired with spirit, but embodied with courage and gift. We are equipped with hands to lend, eyes to see another's suffering, ears to hear our children's cry, strength to walk with one another. Minds to ponder truth and virtue, hearts to share and to love. Nourish and sustain us, not with refined sweetness or bland processes, but the riches of wonder, creativity, and enterprise. Help us care for this place called home and all those we may call friends, family, and neighbors, strangers no more. Grace us with perseverance for the good and strength to achieve it. On this inaugural day, O oh God, we ask your blessing upon our mayor and city officials. Grant them resolve and determination, discernment and good judgment. May they be witnesses to what is good and true and beautiful. May they encourage us to rise from our worries and strive for our hopes. May their efforts for the good of all people of Greenfield, all who live, work, and visit here, know divine favor and our support. May each of us begin anew as we pray this in your holy name, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. So once again, I would like to welcome you all here to Greenfield today. We have so many of the community that stepped out for this occasion, and I appreciate all the effort. We have a lot of elected officials and people from all over um, our area here to share in this this morning. Congressman McGovern, 
uh, D.A. Sullivan and a lot of our local Franklin County and Greenfield uh, represent, uh, representatives. I appreciate all of you coming out this morning. I was asked to say a few words, and those of you that know me, that was a bad idea. Um, but um, the thing that I wanted to do when I talked today was kind of reflect on what it's been like to come back and join the council after 20 years and, and the changes that I saw and, and the things that we've done to make Greenfield um, move forward. So we gather today to bring in a, a new mayor and elected officials. The votes were cast and Kathy certified the results. Now we must come together. Our community will not survive continued division. Like our amazing new library, if you supported it or not, it's now ours to love and to utilize. It makes no sense to continue the negativity. The money's been spent. Now stand on the second floor and appreciate what we have and view our city. When the new charter was adopted, a big part of it was a nonpartisan core. No more R's, no more D's, opening for the diversity of possibility of candidates. The origin of the word diversity is not to divide. One origin is to divert, to change a direction, to reallocate resources and options. And we've done that. I made it my goal to try and keep politics out of council and spend time listening for the best possible ideas for Greenfield. No other agenda. Those that told others they would hate working with me, <laughs> well, you made me a better leader. Because I respected all counselors, city officials, and residents. We didn't always agree, but that's not our goal. Greenfield was. Today, we'll have a new mayor. Like the past, I get to call my friend. We have had new officials that have my respect just for stepping up. It's not easy, even when you're well-intended and you try your best. It's not easy. I'm excited for the future, and you never know when I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> but a few parting words. Reach across. Work together. Compromise. You don't have to agree to be friends. Respect goes a long way. Respect is earned and not demanded. Listen. Make your agenda Greenfield. Ginny and all that are here today, you have my support and my admiration. Dan, out. <laughs> Can I leave now or do I? Okay, all right, you won't do that. I would like now to introduce Kathy Scott, the city clerk, to administer the oath of mayor. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Virginia Disorder. I, Virginia Disorder. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. Perform the duties of the office. Perform the duties of the office. Of mayor. Of mayor. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected in accordance with the ordinances in accordance with the ordinances and the charter of the city of greenfield and the charter and the city of greenfield the constitution the constitution and general laws and general laws of the commonwealth of the commonwealth and the constitution and the constitution of the united states of the united states congratulations mayor
And now please come forward, all other elected officials, and uh, I will swear you in, our elected s s city councilors, assessor, school committee, come step right up here, please. <clears throat> Please join the mayor, all of you that are going to be sworn in this morning. Okay. This morning we will have City Council sworn in John, Bo uh, John Bottomley, John Garrett, Catherine Golub, Rachel Gordon, Michael Mastra Tataro, Wahab Minhas. The Board of Assessors Charles Green, School Committee Ann Childs, Amy Peretti, Stacy Sexton. Elector under the will of Oliver Smith, Jonathan McGee. Trustee to the Jenny L. Bascom Education Fund, Maria Burge. Ann Mayo, Deborah Richards. Trustee of the A.K. Warner Trust Fund, Sally Ahern, Martha Maloney, and Barry McColgan. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I state your name, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and impartially, and to the best of my ability, perform the duties of the office to which I have been elected in accordance with the ordinances and charter of the city of Greenfield, the Constitution and general laws of the Commonwealth, and the, of the, Commonwealth. And the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations to all of you. I thank all of you that have stepped up to be sworn in today. A community is only stronger when we bring everyone together and we keep having a great pool of people that want to bring the city forward. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce once again the mayor of Greenfield, Ginny Disorger. Well, hello there. <laughs> With courage, let us embrace the challenges ahead together. With unity and optimism and never forgetting, the strength of this community lies with the strength of its people. In addition, I want to take this opportunity to thank every city employee who dedicates their time, care, and attention, and professional lives to the city and improving Greenfield for all in this community, as well as working to ensure this community can shine as brightly as possible. Ladies and gentlemen and esteemed guests of our great city, good morning and a warm welcome to this beautiful crowd of folks who care so deeply about this city. Thank you, all of you, for being here today. Let me take a moment, a brief moment, to wish everyone a happy new year and to recognize, welcome, and embrace 2024 with open arms and unyielding hope. I want to begin my remarks this morning by thanking all of you, the people of Greenfield, you are the strong heartbeat of this city and the pulse which brings life to this community. 
Thank you for your never-ending resilience, creativity, and insights. As your mayor, I pledge always to listen, learn, collaborate, and ensure that all voices are heard and every perspective, per perspective valued and appreciated. Thank you all for your never-ending tireless efforts in working to shape this community with shared aspirations which reflect its people. To all the newly elected officials who were sworn in for the very first time this morning, thank you. Thank you for standing up, standing up to help out. And thank you, and though you know it will be very, very challenging at times, you had great courage and stepped forward. Thank you. To my family and friends and all other elected officials here today that traveled in near and far, thank you for being here on this important day for Greenfield. I appreciate your time, your love, and your support. Today, together, we mark a new chapter in our community as we gather here and look towards the future. I stand before you with the deepest sense of gratitude and an immense sense of responsibility. As we embark together on this shared journey, let us always celebrate our accomplishments and always strive for a city that thrives economically, but fosters a sense of belonging and collective well-being for all residents. We are not just a city. We are a vibrant community that is bound together by far more than what, what may divide us. With common vision and bold dreams, and our shared li lived experience, let us work to continue to build a future we can all be proud of. A future full of strong community, improvements, the quality of life for all re residents, filled with rampant hope. Each one of us has an important job, including the folks with the most important title, residents and citizen. So thank you. And now, let our journey begin. Once again, thank you all for being here this morning. Um, take some time, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, and Greenfield appreciates you coming out this morning. Thank you. And we'll stand for the honor guard. Thank you. Thank you.